Explore with Molly. Welcome to Kaya in beautiful Alaska. Hey everyone, it's me, Molly. Kaya is a wonderful place to play with my friends and explore the outdoors. I live here with my family at the Denali Training Post. Would you like to explore with me? Let's go! Use the arrows to explore my village. You can also use your keyboard. I'll put it in my backpack. We can bring it to the basketball hoop at school to play. This is my backpack. The things you find will go in here. And we can give them to our friends and family in Kaya. Tap on things in my backpack to find out more about them. The map shows you all the people and places in Kaya. And where there are games to play. You can tap a game to go there. the ball to the basketball hoop at school. Bring the drum to Grandpa Nat. Bring the dog treats to Suki. Feeding art. Hi, I'm Molly, and my mom is helping me learn how to bead. Beading is an important part of our culture. These are all my beading design cards. Design cards teach people how to make new things. Choose one of Molly's designs or make your own. Tap or drag to add different colored beads. You can undo if you make a mistake. When you're done, tap the check mark. Quincy, that's an amazing design. Now pick something to put your beaded design on.
This looks awesome. And here's a design card that tells how to make your design. That way someone else can make it too. The title and design are on the front and the steps are on the back. Hi there, Molly. Hi, Grandpa Nat. Do you want to sing and drum traditional songs with me? I'd love to. I have a drum in my backpack. Let's get it from my backpack. I love sharing this tradition with you, Molly. Let's make some music. Hi, Mal. Hi, Mom. I heard there are some beautiful agate stones down at the river. Could you find a few for me? I'd love to help. Masit cho, Molly. That means thank you in the Gwich'in language. Let's pick blueberries so Dad can make blueberry jam. All done! Here in Alaska, we only take what we need, and we've got a full basket. Let's bring the blueberries to Dad. I'll add them to my backpack. How's it going, Molly? Hi, Dad. Did you find any blueberries? Yep, they're in my backpack. Let's get them from my backpack. Anna Bassi. Thanks for the blueberries, Mal. Now I can make blueberry jam. Camp. Hey everyone! My dad taught me how to fish for food. Now I'm fishing with Trini and her dad, and I have a book to help us. Which way should we go for a fishing adventure? Let's catch 
catch some salmon for a celebration at the Tribal Hall. Here's a book we can use. It's called Alaskan Fishing. Before we can fish, we need a hook on the end of the line. But which one? Tap the book to open it. Hi! I'm here to help you while you play. Try tapping on me right now. Alaskan Fishing by Gil Nett. Here's the page of the book that can help us. Let's read the book to help us choose which hook we should use. Fishing Hooks To catch a fish with a fishing rod, the line needs a hook at the end. Some hooks look like food to get the fish to bite it. This is called a lure. Tap the hook with all of the important parts. Hooray! You use the caption to choose a hook with the important parts. We're nearly ready to fish! Tap to put on our life jackets. Great job! Let's fish! Let's go fishing! We need three fish. Press and hold the arrows to raise and lower the lure. You can use your keyboard arrow keys too. Our hook is caught. Tap the plant to remove it. to bring it up to the boat. Hooray! We caught a fish. Only two more to go. Uh-oh, caught again. We caught a salmon. Press and hold the arrow to bring it up to the boat. We only need one more. We caught a salmon! Press and hold the arrow to bring it up to the boat. Nice fishing! That's all that we need to catch today. We believe that we don't catch the salmon. The salmon give themselves to us. So we take only what we need. This salmon was perfect for our celebration at the tribal hall. Masi Cho, thank you to the salmon. That was fun! Let's keep going. Let's catch some salmon to feed the sled dogs. What kind of salmon should we catch for the dogs to eat? Tap the book to open it. Alaskan Fishing by Gil Nett. Here's the page of the book that can help us. Let's read the book to find out what kind of salmon we should catch to feed the dogs. There are many types of fish to catch in Alaska. Chum salmon can have stripes like a tiger. They are sometimes called dog salmon because they are good to feed to sled dogs. King salmon are large gray and blue fish that often have spots. They are fish that people like to eat and are also called Chinook salmon. Tap the picture of the salmon you would feed to the dogs. That's great! You use the caption to choose the chum salmon to feed to the dogs. We're almost ready to fish. Tap to match everyone with their boots. Great job! Let's fish! This is 
our fish wheel. It spins around in the water and catches fish in the net. After the net catches fish, the salmon come out of a slide. We need three full troughs of salmon. But which slide will the fish come down? Tap to move the trough to the side where they slide down to catch them. is full. It's time to fill another. It's full! Here's an empty one. is full. Great fishing! That's all that we need to catch today. The dogs love the chum salmon. Masi Cho, thank you to the salmon. That was fun! Let's keep going. Let's catch some salmon for dinner. We still have more chum salmon. Let's bring some to Tui so he can feed it to his sled dogs. I'll add the fish to my backpack. Hi there, Molly. Hi, Grandpa Nat. Hi, Molly. Hey, Tui. I just caught some really big fish. Now I have some extra fish in my backpack that you can feed to your dogs. Let's get it from my backpack. Whoa! Awesome! My dogs love eating chump salmon. Oyana! That means thanks in the Yupik language. Sled Dog Dash. Choose a sledding mission. Science Camp. Hi, everyone. It's me, Molly. And I'm Tui. Grandpa Nat is visiting Nina at Science Camp. I think we should bring him a gift, like yummy dry fish. We can take my dogs on a sledding mission. Let's go. Our mission. Deliver the dry fish to Grandpa Nat. We need five dogs to pull our sled. Tap the dogs in their houses to pick them. Skippy. Luca. Jax. Laika. Kiwi, here's our dog team, ready to go. Help me finish packing the gear we'll need for the trip. Put everything into the box. Gang line. Tug lines. Snow hook. Try fish to deliver to Grandpa. Everything's packed. And I have my sled advisor app on my phone to help us. Let's get started on our sledding adventure. Three, two, one, go! Here we go! You can steer the sled around the obstacles like dirt patches and rocks. Oops! 
get the treats and toys for a speed boost. Woohoo! Extra speed! We made it to the first checkpoint. Let's see how the dogs are doing. It's really sunny and warm. Learn about the gear sled dogs need to wear in warm weather. Let's check our app to find out what to do. Tap on the part of the app that tells you where you can learn about gear dogs need in warm weather. Dog care. Dog gear. Sled. Dog gear. That's right! You can learn about it in the dog gear part of the app. Tap on the part of the app that tells you where you can learn about gear dogs need in warm weather. Cold weather gear. Warm weather gear. Night gear. Sled gear. Warm weather gear. That's right! You can learn about it in the warm weather gear part of the app. What should we use to keep the dogs cool when it's sunny and warm? Warm weather gear. People can usually expect weather as cold as negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit while sledding, but it can get warmer in the sun. If running in sunny weather, sled dogs need special gear that reflects the sun. White jackets reflect the sun to keep dogs cool. What should we use to keep the dogs cool when it's sunny and warm? Dog boots. White jackets. Lotion. White jackets. That's right. That's what the caption says. Tap the dog to dress him in the jacket. Good job! Let's get back to the sled. We're one step closer to getting the dry fish to Grandpa. Three, two, one, go! kept the dogs cool while they were running. Our dogs haven't eaten a meal in many hours. Learn how to take care of sled dogs when they're hungry. Let's check our app to find out what to do. Tap on the part of the app that tells you where you can learn about how to take care of dogs when they're hungry. Dog care. Dog gear. Sled. Dog care. That's right! You can learn about it in the dog care part of the app. Tap on the part of the app that tells you where you can learn about how to take care of dogs when they're hungry. Hungry sled dogs. Thirsty sled dogs. Rest. Grooming. Hungry sled dogs. That's right! You can learn about it in the Hungry Sled Dogs part of the app. What should be part of our dog's meal? Hungry Sled Dogs. Sled dogs need food to give them energy to continue running. For meals, sled dogs eat raw meat mixed with water and dry dog food. They should also eat snacks every two hours. Fish such as chum salmon, are used for snacks. What should be part of our dog's meal? 
ski wax, fish, meat, fish. Hmm, that's not what the page says. Tap me to read the part that could help us. Meat. That's right, that's what the page says. Tap to feed the dogs. Good job. Let's get back to the sled. We're getting closer. Time for more sledding. Three, two, one, go! The meat gave the dogs enough energy to keep running. Uh-oh! One of the ropes behind a dog just broke. Let's learn what gear dogs need to link them to the sled. Let's check our app to find out what to do. Tap on the part of the app that tells you where you can learn about gear that the dogs need to link them to the sled. Dog care. Dog gear. Sled. Sled. That's right! You can learn about it in the dog gear or the sled parts of the app. Tap on the part of the app that tells you where you can learn about gear that the dogs need to link them to the sled. Parts of a sled. Sled gear. Sled speed. Sled gear. That's right! You can learn about it in the sled gear part of the app. What gear do we need that goes in back of the dogs? Sled gear. Gang line. A gang line is the main line that links all the dogs to the sled. Neck lines. Neck lines link to the front of the dogs, near their necks. Tug lines. Tug lines link to the back of the dog's harnesses. What gear do we need that goes in back of the dogs? Snow hook. Gang line. Tug lines. Tug lines. That's right. That's what the diagram says. Tap to put the tug line on the dog. Good job! Let's get back to the sled. This is our last sled run before we get to Grandpa. Three, two, one, go! The tug lines kept the dogs linked to the sled the whole time. Yay! We made it! Grandpa, we brought you some of your favorite snack, dry fish. Mmm, mmm. They look delicious. Masi cho, Molly. That was so thoughtful. I couldn't have done it without help from my friends. <laughs>